back to the YouTube channel, a pro and Vince, and this is my Bedford Super League round three tips for 2023. So, look, um, obviously we're in round two now. Round one was last week, and look, round one wasn't that bad, actually. It wasn't a bad way to start the new Super League season. Obviously, there was some upsets, like Hull KR winning last week was a bit of a shock. Um, Hull FC did well to win that um, high, high point scoring game against um, Cass, so... I think that that's some good results there, um, how that happened during the weekend. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what this week does offer it for the Super League. So I think it'll be another good week, hopefully. But um, before I do start, uh, look, I just want to let everyone know that I am very close to 3K subscribers. Uh, obviously, it's been a bit of a process to get to 3K, but, you know, we're not far off now. I'm halfway there. And um, look for myself and the, and the channel. It's it's just great to see that it is going in the right direction, and um, you know, new support and new subs are just coming in quite a bit. So it's um, great to see. And so I hope um, over time, you know, the more subs I get, the more close I get to 3K. So, but just in general, just want to say thank you to those that have recently subscribed to the YouTube channel. It really does mean a lot. So I uh, appreciate you all. But without further ado, time into my round one, um, round two Super League tips of 2023. So let's get into the very first game, which is um, the two red sides, Salford v Hull KR. So yeah, on to the first game, Salford Red Devils versus Hull KR. And this is at Salford Stadium, um, Bar Barton up on Iwell. So I believe that they've had a name change, actually. So yeah, because there's a different name there. But um, yeah, looking at Salford's team... Seems to be the same team, really, with Ryan Brealey at fullback, CO, Watkins, Lafayette, Burgess, and the halves being Croft and Sneed. And then, like, Vuniawa, uh, Stone, uh, Shane Wright off the bench, who I like as well. So, it's pretty much the same size last week. Not really much changes to really go from, from there. And as for Hal KR, um, they, they, I think their fullback's out or something. Um... Or yeah, because or maybe it hasn't updated because it's not loading on the, on the website here. But yeah, their side looks like it's the same as well, the same side that sort of uh, won last week. So I think um, you know if they can back up their form from last week into this game against Salford, especially then that's that's an indication that maybe Harker could prove some people wrong, like, like myself. But without further ado, my tip for this game is Salford. I think Salford will win at home. I know they were a bit. Patchy against Lee last week, but that was their first ever win at Lee Village. So that was um, good to see them get their first win there. And I think I'll back it up by getting a win at home now. So I think Salford will win. Salford's win 1-12 only, though. On to the next game on the Friday now. It is Huddersfield Giants taking on the Warrington Wolves. And um, this game is kicked off at John Smith Stadium, home of the Huddersfield Giants. Now, the Giants didn't play last week because of St. Helens' as, um um, you know, absence from the Super League as they were backing up from the game against Penrith for the World Club Challenge, which they won, which was great. So that's why there was no, there was no game for Huddersfield and Saints last week. But Huddersfield do play this time in round two on the Friday, and they do take on the Warrington Wolves, who had a massive win over Leeds um, last last uh, Thursday to kick off the season. So will be interesting to see who takes the advantage more. Does, does Warrington's win over the Leeds make them a bit more confident? Or does Huddersfield's week off give them a bit more for time to prep for this game? Who knows? But uh, either way, it should be an interesting game to see who wins here. But who am I tipping? I'm going to back Huddersfield here at home. I think Huddersfield will get the job done here. Won't shock me if Warrington won, though. But I think Huddersfield just getting the week off. And obviously, they're a great side at home. So I am backing them to get the win here. 1-12, though. Right, on to the next game now. It is Wigan taking on Wakefield. And this game is kicked off at DW Stadium in Wigan. And look, Wigan last week, they were underwhelming at best. I mean, losing to Hull KR was a, a big shock to me. I never thought they would lose. Um, but, you know, I guess it, it, it all depends on who turns up on the day. And Hull KR did, so it was a shock. But they turned up and they won that win. So Wigan are the ones that need to find redemption now somehow. And I think against Wakefield, it's the best opportunity to get that redemption because Wakefield, they're, they're stuffed, aren't they? They're in a lot of trouble. So I don't think Wakefield are in for a big season either way, though. But I'll keep this short and sweet. Who am I tipping? I think Wigan will bounce back 13+. Plus, and I think, um, yeah, I think they're in for a big game. I think Kay Cass is in for a big game too. He'll be man of the match in this one. On to the next game now is Leeds Rhinos taking on Hull FC at Hendingley Stadium in Leeds. So, look, both sides obviously 
had a win and a loss, and Leeds were obviously awful against Warrington, which was a big shock, actually. I know it was at the, at the Wires' home ground, but still, this time they had a grand final last year. They made a grand final, they're in great form, and it looks like everything came crashing down last Thursday against uh, Warrington, but... See, they did they they did this last year too, the Leeds. You know, had a great had a great like year last year, but at the start of the year they were shocking in losses every week and stuff. So could it be could it be a repeat of two thousand twenty two again for Leeds? Who knows? Who knows? But that start against Warrington was not ideal. You can't say it's okay, that loss there. So as for Leeds, that their, their team's not there, uh, and same with the other game, their their sides aren't named yet. But yeah, look, Leeds obviously would want to bounce back this week, that's for sure. And looking at um, Hull FC, um, uh, Hull FC, you know, obviously they, probably for them, they would like to continue their win, winning streak. Uh, obviously being cast was big last week. So I think with them, it's just about sort of keeping up that good winning form because I think they're a tough side to read, um, Hull FC. So we'll see how they go this year. But who am I tipping? I will tip... I'll tip Hull FC and get the win here, actually. I think Hull FC will back up their good win against Cass and win here 1-12, but I won't underestimate Leeds. I think Leeds are angry and, and they would like to bounce back after that loss. Right, on to the second last game, round two. It is Catalan's Dragons taking on Lee Leopards, and uh, this is at the home ground of Catalan's being stayed, Gilbert Brutus. So, um, look, last week Catalan's were pretty good against... Um, winning over Wakefield, and obviously they were a lot better than Wakefield. I mean, Wakefield weren't bad, but just Catalans had a bit more quality in the end to snatch and win. Uh, 38 points to 24, I think the score was. And then obviously Lee won. No, they didn't win, sorry. Um, mind blank there. Uh, no, Salford beat them 20 to 10, and obviously that was the first time Salford ever beat Lee at their home ground, too. So that's unwanted history there for, uh, for the Leopards. But um, yeah, this week, obviously Lee. Well, they won't ban that game, so I think they'll come into this game feeling a bit more confident that, that they can produce something. But look, I think my tip has to stay strong with Catalans at home against Lee. You can't knock Catalans back, so I think they'll win here and they'll win fairly well. So I'll go Catalans 13 plus. And on to the final game of the week, it is Castleford taking on St. Helens, and this game is on a Monday at 12 a.m., so not the most easiest day to get, get up and watch footy. For me because I have work commitments and stuff but um, I'll, tr I'll try my best either way but yeah Castleford taking on St Helens at Mendehose Jungle so in the jungle it's a bit hard because obviously Cass are usually decent there but I think Saints quality is uh, strong enough to compete with that home advantage against Cass but um, you know Saints it's their first game playing in the Super League for 2023 after missing round one because of the backing up against uh, Penrith Panthers in the World Club Challenge so I'm sure that there'll be some players rested for this one, I, I think anyway. But um, I, I'd say most players would, would, would be back. So, um, yeah, that's a good sign if they are. But um, Castleford, yeah, they were unlucky to lose against Hull FC by two points, losing 32 to 30. I think Cass will be a lot more hungrier than he has to bounce back and, you know, potentially try and get a win now because they lost by, that, by those two points. So that could, uh, yeah, make them a bit more wary they have to win now because... Losing in those situations where you only lose by, lose by two points and score that many tries, it hurts a bit. So I'm, I'm, I have no doubt they'll be out to out to try and win this game against Saints. But look, who am I tipping? It's obvious. I'll go St Helens here, one to twelve only though. I only one to twelve because I'm not too sure who will play for Saints. But yeah, I think Cash will be competitive either way at home. So Saints one to twelve. But everyone, that's my um, Betfred Super League round two tips of 2023. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel on the road to 3k so please be sure to subscribe if you, have, if you haven't already and make sure to comment your tips in the comment section down below so thanks for watching see you all in the very next video